we're getting there. There. Yes, I know it's early. Excuse me. I know it's early, but I'm, uh, like my title said, I'm avoiding a uh, to-do list. It's like a 30-minute trip. <clears throat> so, we'll do that. This one, uh, the last one, we were stopped in Albert Canyon and then uh, went uphill to Downey. Now we are heading towards Golden. Um, with, some, with these, oh my God, these empties. Make a quick stop at Ili Il 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 I guess, siding. And then after that, we are going to Glacier. Eventually, we're going to drop off these Griffith. Once we get to Griffith, I think that's when we get get rid of those three. Uh, those three. Uh, Cars we picked up in Revelstoke filled up with uh, wood chips for some farmer up here. So let's start the trip anyways. And as suggested last night by uh, Mickey Gamer, I did in fact uh, check online. And uh, Train Sim was on sale. And the deluxe version was like another two dollars. So it was thirty five instead of thirty five um well, I think it was thirty four instead of thirty four Canadian it was like thirty six Canadian and then wants this Rush 8 track back. <laughs> Just talking to the other train. Okay. So, brakes are set. Let's, uh... Get some power to the wheels first before we release the brakes. Yeah, we stopped here to get some to add on some uh, to some uh, cars, I believe. And there we go. We are actually going uphill, which is good. Good thing, right? Yes. Let me just punch that down a bit there. Of course, when I do that, then I go to this other screen, I lose my mouse, so then I have to click on the game again, and it says, oh, continue, yes. Oh, shit, his cow fell down. <laughs> what the hell happened to the cow? That was weird. This cow is just lying there. Because um, that's the guy that we often meet in his pickup truck. Can you have the cow in the back of the truck? And I'll toot the horn. Just to scare the shit out of the cow. I'm not sure why I do it. Go to the back of the train. Back of the train. That's those three cars we're going to dump, I think. Oh, maybe they're at the front. We'll find out when we get there. So oh, let's pour the gas on. No point being slow like we do when we're driving our truck. This is the <coughs> excuse me. This is the view of the cab window. Comes uh So we're going to um, 
past that sighting, whatever that or that word is, in uh, six minutes. This is a real-time game. I think. I'm pausing as I say that. Um, I wonder if it that really is that many miles between these two places. I'll have to check that. There's milestones, though. Miles from Calgary. You know, 240 miles from Revelstoke till Eldon. Maybe it is. The game just, um, FPS just die in the game periodically like that. And I think it's when, if you're to come around a corner and there's a distant, distant mountain with all sorts of trees on it, it dies and it goes kabunk, kabunk. There, trees are done. Oh, it's a 64-bit version. More efficient. Still, it's a very old design, um, so... I suspect there's, I mean, I, I think this has been going since, I don't know, 2012, 13? I forget. Been going for quite a while. Yeah, I should have my lights on, eh? When the doubt you're supposed to. Drive, drive with the lights on. I only have, uh, I don't have a lot of choices on this, unfortunately. I have um, these guys too, I think they have... These are the headlights. And they go off. I don't seem to have... Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, it's they're on the back train or something. Oh, yeah, that's the inside lights. We don't need those. It's nice to know what button they are, though. I think one of the other buttons is supposedly the um, step lights, but. Yeah, ditch lights. How come the ditch lights don't work? Hmm. <coughs> well, the nice thing about this is you don't really have to pay much attention. You are not going to hit something. There won't be something sitting on the track. On the time that I've been playing this. Uh, there may be switches you need to check. You know those symbols whenever there's a bridge, that uh, rectangle with two black dots, two black circles on it next to each other. Uh, I'm not sure what it's supposed to symbolize. Watch out, it's a bridge. Eyes open. Slower, possibly because we're going on the siding. Uh, I uh, see, and red means we're not going on the main track. I 
was slowing there just in case. Pull onto drop everything behind the two empty cars and drop those two empties on. Siding two. I didn't know I had two empty cars. Apparently I do. Okay. Uh, what have we got here? Um, oh, we've got a siding, so I assume we have to set. Is that a break? We also have to wait until we get um, completely off before we can even think about stopping, which is soon. That's good. Sorry, that's the outside view. Um, so, I mean, there's no point stopping until we see siding three. Right? This is going to be up here if we look on our map like this. Center player. We are here. Oops. There's... Here's us. We're getting close to that. Now I'm wondering if I need to set brakes when I drop off cars. You know what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a save. I should do a save now, actually, when I don't do saves. Um, well, I'm going to do a save before I unhook, and I will not set any brakes on the cars. I will see if they start to roll away. Oops, one and a half percent grade. If they wanted to, they would. Oh. I'm intrigued by that. There's the ability. There's the ability here to set brakes on cars, but So any place up here would be good to stop. I guess. Stop pretty good here. Okay. Add another one. So that's oh, 20 pounds on the brakes. That's good. Okay, so. We gotta drop everything except those two. Um, well, 
there's the arrow. I knew there was an arrow. There, you can just move this thing at the bottom. So, there's me. There's the two, two power units, and that's these two. Let me just check our orders. Drop off. Ah, so drop off that one at 2, so 2385, 23, 238, 237, and 237s. Oh, okay. 85, 69, 47. the hell are they? Eighty five. Drop off two oh three nine eight five. Sorry, 238-985. I can't read, that's my problem. Okay, 238-985. 95. 747-169. These three guys. Drop these three guys. Okay so, okay, so no break set. We're just going to open this. Is it, is it floating away? Let me do my... Um, Eight, I think, is the no. Doesn't seem to be floating away, so we're good. Okay. I'm uh, trying to put my Why is it not uh, not let go? Let's open this up again. I must have rolled. So will drop 95 on, on t 2. Okay. Must have rolled back and connected again.
So, drop that one onto two, and the others onto three. Okay, let's get a bit of break here. Bit more break. Bit more break. Bit more break. There we go. Actually, let's just add more break. Okay, so we're going to drop that there. As you come later, place the empties near the loaded containers. Okay, oh, over there. Can do. So that when we drop the brakes, no, it didn't work. Not sure why that worked, you know. No, we don't want to undo those. We're good. Speeding? How can I be speeding? I'm not even moving. Oh, well, I got a problem here, actually, because I've unloaded. Where am I going here? I gotta go back and get these guys. I dumped the wrong ones. Well, that's what I was doing. I was speeding. I was way up on number two. Wasn't much in the speedometer. Okay, let's go back on two.
I gotta go into emergency. About. Okay. So what do we got? I've got those other three guys. I'm not sure why. Let me look. So I've got... Just back up. There we go. Okay. Now, we want to drop off. God. We want to drop off 985 here. That one. So, and then we've got 6947. And my problem is the game keeps reconnecting. But let's put some positive spin on things. There we go. Now we're going to back up. And we're going to add just enough break here as we back up. is slowing us a bit. But we know that it's you cannot apply less less break. So we can do we can just add a bit of gas here. And by gas we mean diesel. feet. Uh, sometimes they know what they're talking about and sometimes they don't. It's pretty well here that you wanted it, didn't you? You're getting a crane, so... go and drop off those guys B 
rehook and let's re-roll. Yes, and why did it take you so long? Um, well... Oh, we're good. We're good. back up now. We went a little fast, but that's okay. Oh no, we did go a little fast. We're not on the right track yet. Our, our switch is way the hell up here. Uh, it's important to remember to get both ends of the track over the switch. It's some kind of rule they have. Paperwork, eh? Okay. And now throw the switch. Now throw the switch? Oh, for God's sake. We were just a smidge short. Now throw the switch. See how fast we get going. Give her a boost here. Going too slow when we get there. What do you think? I think we're going to get there. I don't think we're going to quite get there. Nudge, nudge, nudge. There we go. Now we're there. Okay. Oh, shit. I was supposed to go and get that one as two. You idiot. Pay attention, eh? This is what happens when you do this early in the morning. To the back of... Couple. Two, three, eight.
Drop 985. Drop 985. Drop those two things. Pick up 985. Dang. To the back of this train. You know what? I'm going to go back to my resume because I think I've screwed things up. Maybe we'll pay attention this time. Because those instructions, <coughs> those instructions weren't making sense to me, but I think I may have screwed them up. So I'll drop off 985 at 2. Just a sec, actually. Let's make this even darker. Drop off that at 2. Drop those two guys off there. And then put that guy at the back of the train. I think that's what we were supposed to do. Ninety five, we gotta get it out of the way, drop these two guys there, and then crop the ninety five back to the train. That's what we were supposed to do. And I couldn't remember where to put it in. Okay, let's just put brakes on the train here. So those guys, so Over here is where we break it. <coughs> that was my problem before. I mean, sometimes.
excuse me. So we're gonna go back to two. Need a bit more juice, Gramps. Come on. Okay, now you can probably see it. This one because this has containers on it, and we're going to drop the empties off. This will go to two. We'll wait till it gets going a bit faster. Because our speed's 20, and we've only got 5%, which is 11 pounds. We can put another tick. 14 pounds. And now, <coughs> we're actually slowing. Not too much, though. Actually, we did not have to go this far back because we just want to drop this. I was not thinking here. Come on now, let go, let go. Good, we're rolling. Ah, the ancient secret. Sorry. Didn't notice that you were chatting there. This is coffee. Right now a wine. Uh, what was your question? The estimated time to leave Livestock to finishing all parts? I don't know. You'd have to look at the chart. What do you mean the estimated time to leave? What's your question again? Estimated time to leave level stroke finishing all parts. I mean, how long does the whole trip take? I can check if you want to know. Um, I don't know. See, I don't know. It's It said this is a 30-minute section, this one. Uh, the whole, well, let's look at the whole trip. Because I did a, I did a save. So leaving Rebel Stroke <clears throat> is just one chunk of it. Um, okay, there's, there was the yard work we did. That doesn't really count. And then leaving liver rebel stroke was 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, two hours there. Five, six, seven, eight. You 
you know, and then golden, you know, you know, it might be 12 hours for the whole game. Um, but what I don't know is uh, if it says, I mean, there's mile markers and I've got a map that says, um, whatever, from the game, I got a map. I've not been to Rebels Rock. I've got a game that that's, that's all, does mile markers. You know, Revelstoke is 120 over 120 miles from Field, which is the midpoint, which is I'm not sure 130 to Calgary. So I think these are I think these are uh, are real time. By the way, I bought uh, train sim last night. It was like, like I said, 34. 34 for the game and 36 uh, for the Canadian for the Deluxe, which had a, a bunch of extra good stuff on it. And then there was a $6 coupon from Steam, which made it twenty nine ninety five or whatever. So, And I started playing, and the first tutorial screwed, it seemed to screw up. Um, you're supposed to apply the brakes, and I clicked on it, and it briefly applied them, but then it locked them out. So. Um, where are we going, Gramps? Drop these guys on three. <coughs> uh, no, no, I have not been to Revelstoke or Field. Uh, I've been to Vancouver briefly. I've been to Vancouver Island uh, once. I've been to Vancouver a couple of times. Odd business, though. We went out to BC Tell. How about you, oh ancient one? Well, it said close, so this is close-ish. Right. Drop uh, 69 or 47. Okay, great. Rehook and let's roll. Ah, uh, that's what the thing. Rehook means rehook to that. Rehook to that. Uh, I missed out. I didn't. I, I didn't pay attention. Pay attention to the details here, Gramps. I did not pay attention to the thing that by rehook me mean go and get that car that you dropped off. Right? We're good. The one that I dropped way back there some stupid reason. Okay, go back to here.
that's it. I want it to be just slightly falling off so that I can. Yeah. I'll need to get it a bit more gas to get back there. Um, yeah, that's true. I don't, um, um, I don't see, I mean, uh, sort of in a negative way, I don't see any people complaining on the, on the forums that the railways in such and such a place are completely inaccurate. Not to the extent that I see people complaining on the truck forum that these are that the uh, the roads and the cities portrayed in the in the uh, ATS and ETS are inaccurate. Now that either could be because they are inaccurate or because people tend to drive on the roads a lot more than they do in the railways. But there's a lot of railway operators that watch this map, play this map, so. Uh, now, whether if you stop at the um, at this siding, if there's a building there on one side, and you know some roads and stuff, um, I don't know. You'd have to look at uh, Google Maps and see what's there. I guess Google Earth. Look at Google Earth. Find this siding and uh, on the CP rail tracks. Now I got this and now I connect because so there was two empties in between so that's the switching I had to do. I had to get those two empties out of the middle of the train. So I had to use another siding. That's the way it works. Put a bit of brake on. Just to get a head start here. Are we there yet? So I had my uh, toast, and some toast and honey, and some and a coffee, but haven't had my shower. Haven't got organized for the day yet. So Oop, again, a little slow. I gotta go and go shopping. Um, I gotta buy. We're having making ribs for some company and bring it over to their house on uh, Thursday. My girlfriend shows up Wednesday night, so, and it's going to be snowing tomorrow afternoon and Wednesday we're supposed to get 20 to 30, I think maybe 30 centimeters of snow total in the two days, so. How are we here? So uh, it would behoove me to get my grocery shopping done ahead of time. What's the best pickup line? Mm. In my experience, the best way to pick up uh, someone of the opposite sex or the same sex, depending what you're depending what you're interested in, is to uh, pay attention and listen and compliment. But that's not a one-time pickup line. I don't know. Nice shoes. You know, compliment a woman. Or a guy, I guess. Nice shoes, if they are nice. 
and then something like you have a closet full that's kind of an icebreaker you know chance for her to oh my god yes That's what I would use. Okay, I'm not sure what the limit is and how f hard how hard you're gonna whack into trains. I know if you go into them uh, too fast, then you have a derailment and you. Uh, uh, well, you can be sort of self-deprecating about it too. Uh, like, uh, excuse me. Hope you don't mind me saying it. Nice shoes. Oh, no, no. Compliments are good. And then you can say, ah, do you like mine? <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I've always been a fan of humor. Humor from her and, and humor, hopefully that she can... Take a joke, too. Okay, are we moving now? We are moving. <coughs> are we all moving? Let's just go to the back. Is the back end of the train moving? Yes, it is. Okay, life is good then. simulator <coughs> excuse me no I haven't and and for the same reason that I don't like uh, passenger trains in this game uh, I wouldn't want to I mean I've, I've spent way too long on this dinking around <coughs> I'm not good with schedules I wouldn't want to just pick up people drop them off pick up people drop them off not my thing Uh, my girlfriend's going to be up here for the Valentine's Day. It's the first one. I think this will be our fourth one. I guess I better look this up. <clears throat> it's the first one where we will be together. Because she lives in Toronto, I live in Ottawa. And uh, we go back and forth and it just never has worked out. So and normally she would be coming up a week later. Like we do it once a month. Although she was, uh, she was up her early beginning December, and then I was down later on in January. So normally it would be Jan later on in February, but she's coming up earlier. So, uh, no, I won't be streaming when she's here, unless well, I might stream in the morning or something, you know. Because what happens is she. Uh, She whacked her head, I don't know, five years ago. She fell into a hole at, at night in a construction site. It was night, it was raining, it was not properly marked. She's crossing the street. Ass over tea kettle and uh, concussion. So she has vertigo, balanced vertigo issues, migraines, this sort of stuff, had to quit work. And one of the side effects is she tends to sleep 12 hours. So we might get to bed at midnight, but uh, I'm up at 8 and she's up at noon. So I got four hours to read or work on my writing or whatever I want to do. So 
I could be streaming too, especially this. This is nice and laid back, and I've got lots more hours to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So I could easily get an hour in. Um, although, come to think of it. Landlord is going to have contractors up upstairs. Oh, been there, done that. Um, I don't think either of us. We would have to move. Uh, well, no, she hasn't been married, but she's had a number of long-term relationships. I've been married, had long-term relationships. Uh, no, the other issue would one of would we ever move? I don't think we'd move really. She lives in Toronto. She's been there, you know, 30 years or whatever, and has a nice area. She's got a brother there. She likes Toronto. Same with me here. I've been, you know, 40 years or something in, at least 40, 45 years in Ottawa. And now I'm settled into a nice area. Like it. Kids are here, so... And we commute once a month. So, we have no kids together to support, you know. Oh, what's this? I was kissing a moose the other day. Yes. God, these jokes are bad. Your mic is on, idiot. <laughs> Mike is on it yet. Uh, the three rings of marriage. Um, no, I don't. What are the three rings of marriage? Is one of them boring? Exciting, boring, and what? Oh, suffering. Engagement ring, wedding ring, and suffering. Uh, <coughs> have you been married? Did you cause somebody to suffer? <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a fair question. In my... Uh, <clears throat> you know, people complain about the high incidence of divorce, but on the other hand, in the old days, you didn't get divorced, you just suffered. You stayed together for the kids. So, Mickey Mike Gamer, hello, hello. You never know what can happen, exactly. Uh, Mickey Mike Gamer, hey, guess what I bought uh, last night? Guess what deluxe package I bought last night for only $2 more than the basic package, which included a ad added discount from Steam. Three guesses, first two don't count. <laughs> yes, I did. <coughs> I did, and I started the tutorial, and it died on me. The tutorial screwed up. Um, I had to set the brakes, so I clicked on the brake lever it momentarily nudged over for a bit of break and then stopped and then the, it's tutorial so then the and then they were locked out i was locked out of the brakes all controls so uh, this is an interesting wall <coughs> so what i'm gonna have to do is uh, try it again and this time rather than clicking on the brake lever i'm i'm i prefer to use the keyboard really and the the keys are the same So I prefer to do things like just use the keyboard for just the help a wall, eh?
control the game is the keys. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was using the keyboard. <clears throat> Oops, no fence. Excuse <coughs> me. Train Sim World is that at 2019. I'll have enough money over to buy a house. <laughs> yeah. Um, although, <coughs> there are not nearly as many. Have we, have we crashed? Oh, no, we're moving. Train Sim is amazing, really fun. Multiplayer is coming to Train Sim World. Really? Wow. Really? So how would they do that? Uh, so, Bicky Mike, back to your thing. Uh, the key controller. Uh, I guess what you mean is using the keyboard. Because, yeah. Uh, real controls. I suppose you can get controls that look like the brakes and stuff, but that would be kind of That'd be too geeky for me, sorry. So. Ah, so in Train Sim World. So how would that work then? <laughs> yes, that would be cool. I'd love to play with people. I do play, I do multiplayer on... Um, I do multiplayer on ETS and ATS, truck driver. Uh, but I assume, but there's not really that much interaction. I assume with with this with multiplayer, you would. Uh, I would take a cargo. You know, I take I take a consist somewhere, and I drop off five cars for you to pick up and take somewhere else. So it'd be more interactive. It'd be like a, a farming simulator where you actually do interact. You know, farming simulator. You know. You go and plow a field, and then I go back and harvest the same field. Uh, we can all chill on the same train. That'd be cool. Yeah, but you'd have to fight over who's driving. Uh, sorry, uh, Mickey, Mickey, Mike, are you saying right now there are choices on how to operate the train? I didn't, I didn't get far enough into it to see that. Um, and if there's several people playing the same game, how do you communicate? I mean, you, I, I guess, well, I mean, you would use, you could use Discord. Let's put some brakes on. Um, would you communicate with the uh, radio? You can keyboard or you, you can use a controller. Yes, can you can move the you can move the levers here. Yes, I get you. And a keyboard and a, and a controller. Although I'm not sure. Well, I guess that a controller would be okay. I don't have one, but well, you'd map things to it. You know, the right hand twiggly thing is the throttle and the left hand twiggly thing is the brake or something. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's because you grew up with controllers. I don't have a controller. My grandson does and I the most I use a controller is when I used to go over and he'd let me play Super Mario Kart with him. Uh, let him, because he knows that Grandpa has poor hand-eye coordination, so it would be kind of tedious playing with Grandpa. Where are we going? Flat Creek West in one mile. 
big little controller. Oh, wire 30 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Three Xbox controller. I thought of getting an Xbox. I think it's, is it the Xbox one? Um, for a while there, because my grandson was playing um, uh, Planet, Planet World. Something Planet. It's a 2D thing where you have this character goes up a lonely planet. So he played uh, Lonely Planet a lot, a lot, and he was he was keen on Grandpa joining him. I guess I can get rid of this thing sticking up in space there. It has to remap the game. So what time is it? Oh, it's 12:30. Okay. See, I haven't done anything yet today other than play this. So I play too much. Um, I hear you, Mickey. I play too much uh, truck, truck, trucking simulators, and now train simulators. What do we gotta do? Um, I gotta get organized today. Gotta get out and have a have a shower and uh, get out and do some shopping. Oh, actually, I have to write my st status on a writing site. It was due Sunday, so I gotta update my status. Uh, make a coffee, update my status, uh, have a shower, and get shopping. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure whether I will get the chance to stream it before next week, to be honest. Um, oh, thank you for the host. Uh, because, uh, like I said, my girlfriend is showing up Wednesday. Wednesday night. Wednesday during the day, I'll po possibly be too busy cleaning the house. <clears throat> you know, clean the bathroom. I clean the bathroom, uh, change, uh, you know, make the bed, fresh, fresh new sheets and pillowcases, and, uh, and sweep everything. That's the bare minimum. Messiness is okay. Her place is messy too. Messy and clean is good. Are we there yet? Well, we're not going to get there. We got half the speed. <coughs> I know. Well, that's what I went. That's what I was thinking. Really, Mickey, that uh, I need to go through the tutorials uh, first. And now I've I've driven I've driven this train so much. Um, that I know how I know how trains work, but there's different things in that game, and including the tutorial on how to start the engine. So, and you know, getting out, running up, changing the switch, going back. So I guess there are some significant differences between the two games. some break on ahead of time here. What have I got? Seven pounds. Not much. Let's add a bit more. Take a chance. Amtrak train, yeah. I think I'm supposed to stop before this. Uh See, I've got power, I've got power on. But uh, I've also got brakes on. 
I've already pre, pre set up pre breaking. Oh, there's the cow, and the cow is okay. All right. <clears throat> His cow was uh, lying down last time. Okay. Hey, buddy. Now get your cow off the bloody track. There, don't let your cow go on the track. Amtrak. Uh -huh. Well, I'm looking for the order to this heavy haul. Whatever CSX heavy haul is, um, I'm going through Ross Peak. What is Ross Peak? Uh, oh, Ross Peak. Okay, well, it's the same same grade as this. It's going to be the same. Well, this is one, but I think it's one point nine percent. So, <coughs> okay. Uh, now let's just take a peek at the next one. Rebel Stoke Four. <coughs> this one takes me to Glacier, which is the peak. If we uh, do a start here, we'll just see what it does. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be back on later this afternoon, like I said. Uh, pick another coffee, do my writing group status update, have a shower, go get some groceries. Gotta get ribs, we're gonna cook ribs. I got a good ribs recipe with uh, dry rub. In fact, although I tried doing ribs, I did uh, uh, back ribs, pork back ribs in a pressure cooker. 25 minutes. Rub them with uh, dry rub. Welcome back. Make sure dropped off and picking up more empties. Ah, three different kinds of CSX trains. All right. Okay, so I'm going towards Glacier, and I'll show you on the map where we are. <coughs> so, we're here, and then we go Oh, show task, okay. So we gotta go there, then we go there. Ooh, that's an interesting Okay, and we drop some stuff off there, and we drop some stuff off there, and we really pick up some things there. Oh, we just swap some things. And pick up something there. Ooh, so we're going to have to do a lot of playing around here. And then stop there, so. CSX 2R Diesel. Uh, oh, what do you mean, uh, Mickey? 2R Diesel, one is locomotive. Uh, if it's not diesel, what is it? And where's the cow? So you confused me there. Oh, the fuel is diesel, yes, yes. Well, it's just like when we're trucking. You know, when I'm driving in my Scania, I step on the gas. I don't step on the diesel. Okay, so, quit, yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll give my thumbs up, because we'll know it will be good. So, uh, oh, and if you have to train yourself, yes. But uh, have I done this? I've had to do that in this game, too, you know. It seems to me I did a scenario in train in TS 2019, when it was, whatever it was, where we had to, we had to fuel up, so... Uh, but yes, and again, yeah, I watched a demo, I guess, where you actually, in train sim, 
I guess when squirrel was doing it, whatever, where you had to stop and you get out and you have to carry the carry the hose over and stick it in the side of the you know the tank on the side of the train and fuel it up. So a lot of uh, a lot more hands-on stuff, but the idea that it's going to be multiplayer that's uh, that's cool. That's cool. I'll have to watch the forums for that. Anyways, um, thanks very much for um, viewing, folks, and for chatting. Um, like I said, I might be on. I might go back on this afternoon after I do my chores as a reward, as opposed to this was a way to avoid chores. And uh, we'll be doing part four. Another half-hour trip that'll take me longer because I drive too slow and I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. So, so thanks for viewing. Thanks for if you're a follower. Thanks for following. You can support me by throwing bits in the jar, or so you can share me with bits, or you can uh, subscribe with your Amazon Prime, or you can buy my books, or you can just chat. So, ta-ta. I was going to say goodnight. No, just uh, ta-ta to all. <laughs>